What's up guys? You're watching part two of our Hoggy Adventures. Let's get it guys. We are currently at the home of the first emperor of Japan. His home was actually moved from Tokyo to Hagi, so that was pretty neat. And in the upcoming clips, you guys will see a bit of the features and interior design of the home. Here's a cool structure given to the emperor when the house was built in Tokyo, so they moved it in Hagi. And this man right here is going to tell us a little bit about the history behind the house and how it was formed. Basically, he will act as a tour guide for the historical attraction. <laughs> By the way, he's speaking everything in Japanese, so our sensei in the blue shirt will help us translate everything into English. Hopefully, this will be amusing to you if you are a historical fanatic, but if you're not, just admire how the old guy speaks Japanese. These are some pictures that were taken from the emperor's house. Here's a statue of him. That's his door. And here's what it looks like from the outside. Next up, we got Shinsaka Takasugi's house. 
Uh, this is basically a memorial site of him. It includes everything that he owned and some portraits of him. I think he was a brave soldier or a samurai who fought in the war. Uh, I'm not sure which war, but all I know is that the scenery is pretty nice. Bang, look at that. Cody, can you give us a little description about this place? Um, this is Kiro Takeyoshi's um, farm residence. Um, Kiro Takeyoshi was um, one of the major people of the major restoration. Um, he, was, he was instrumental in um, negotiating for the Satsuma Choshu Alliance, which allowed for um, Choshu to um, be able to defend off the um, Tokugawa Shogunate during the second Choshu expedition and both the and that eventually built the foundation of the um, Imperial Japanese government. Wow, thanks Cody. Let's go on to our next historical adventure. This is quite interesting, but at this place we actually got separated. I needed to pee pee and my friends were nowhere to be seen. So I had to run across the block, around the corners and around the block again to find them. And finally, yes, we did meet up. And the same thing happened to that girl in front of me. You see that girl right there? Yeah, she was walking around the block, so Sensei had to go find her, fetch her, bring her back, whatever. Ooh, this is the place where Sensei and Cody went to a historical museum while I just chilled eating ice cream. And I think that other girl did the same too. This is the map of Hagi, pretty sure. It's really boring. But Cody likes it a lot, so that's why we're here. Oh, pretty art. Here's the cafe that I'm probably gonna wait for Cody and uh, Sensei. Cause they're gonna go into history museum and it's not gonna be fun. So I'll spend my time with you. At the Yamaguchi Shoku Satan cafe while Kishima and Cody will be chilling out or spending their lovely time at the history museum taking pictures of dead people. 
or noble soldiers that uh, lost their lives in the Great War. So, uh, ooh, there's a Natsu, uh, Natsu Mikan ice cream that's really famous in Hagi. Probably get that since I got a 5,000. Yeah. We're currently not serving any lunch since it's past the hour, but the dessert section is available. And uh, it looks like this is what I'm gonna choose. The Natsumi Kan orange soft ice cream for $3.50. That's about, that's about $3 right there. So this is actually their famous Natsumi Kan ice cream. It's supposed to be uh, uh, orange, some kind of summer orange ice cream. It's really famous. I hope it tastes good, but I'm gonna find out. So there's this orange candy flavored on top of the ice cream, and that's what makes it really good, I suspect. Uh, yeah. So here's a time lapse of me eating this ice cream really fast. Mmm, that's good. Let's eat more of it, shall we? This ice cream is yummy. Yum 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 you know, if you say yummy really fast, you can't really say yum 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 yum. You'll say yum instead of yum. Try it, I'm serious. Say yum as fast as you can. Alright, enough of that yum. Here we got two oranges from that nice man over there. Thank you, old man. Thank you. Whoa, why are you smelling it? Does it smell good? We have officially arrived at the parking lot of the Hagi Castle, which we're gonna walk and walk and walk and walk and hopefully get there. This is a statue of a wise old man. This is a crescent moon. This is some kind of stuff. And this is the entrance to the Hagi Castle. Yo, these pigeons are chilling as if they were on a hike or something. Look at that. They're like, you can't get me, you can't get me. Yo, this pigeon's like, betoning me, man. I mean, he just looks at me and he's not even afraid. Oh, he flies down, okay. Yeah, this is cool fish, yeah. Oh shoot, he's back up, he's back up guys, what are you gonna do, what are you gonna do, that's right, fly away, don't come back, ever, yo these are like the gates of the nine tails, you know, you know how they trap that Naruto, that Naruto guy, yeah it's like bang bang bang, you know, you know what I'm saying, We are strolling in the park, in the hoggy park. What are we doing? I don't know. What are we doing? Uh, ba -bow. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba whoa, 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 who's that guy right there? It's Waldo! Here are some pretty flowers. <laughs> Now please walk with me as we venture the mysterious Hagi Castle.
All right, guys, from here on out, Vincent will turn back into normal. Normal? What? Vincent is normal? What are you talking about? Time warping, time warping. Three, two, one. There's a bunch of ruins over here. And that big stone you see right there is probably some of this grave. Overall, it's quite relaxing. The weather's nice. Breeze is cool. But this place really exemplifies the history behind Hagi. And it's a really good landmark to see. Oh, that's nice right here. Wow. This pond should be filled with coal. I feel that being here makes you feel distant and isolated from everyone else. And this gives you a sense of unity with nature, I guess. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that was just the sound of a school starting. That's the bell of um, usually Japanese school starting. And it just reminds me when I was taking Japanese in elementary school. Here's another view of the Hagi Castle from another angle. Looks nice, right? The first time I saw this, I fell in love with it and I can't stop getting enough of its beauty. We're under attack! Defend the Taki Kata! Next up, please enjoy the videos inside the Hagi Castle. These feature some of the houses and the old pavements. Next 
Next up are some clips made from action movie FX. Guys, guys, run! Run! What in the world? Hey guys! Guys! Shit! What is up? We're at a convenience store and we just went to the Hagi Castle and now we're getting it stacked on goods. So this is what I have. Got mochi, azuki beans inside. This is a croquet. I think there's beef inside. It's pretty cool. Uh, chicken karage. And uh, natto, which I know a lot of people don't like, but it's actually really good. I've eaten a lot of this, so yeah. It's very different from what America has to offer, so I guess it's really special. Now let's take a tour inside this supermarket. Here's a cool soy sauce pack shaped like a fish. Oh shit, they got the goods right here. Dang. This is also known as omiyage. So it's like souvenirs that you can bring back to your foreign country. Alright, so here's what we have so far. Green tea waffle ice cream. Yup, yeah. natto, and uh, yeah, cocaine, mochi, chicken karage, and then why don't we get some Cheetos, uh, this stuff, let's get, yeah, stack it up, get this too, get some shrimp crackers, yeah, uh, let's stack up some peas too. Yeah, baskets, man. All right, uh, let's get this popular po poteco, poteco rings from Toato. Yeah, baskets. All right. What about some Pringles right here? Yeah. Oh, we need both, you know. All right. That's. I think this concludes our shopping for today. It's good. Midnight snack. Uh, yeah. So me and Cody are checking our grades in the middle of our adventures in Japan and uh, I ended up doing actually decent, better than my previous scores so I ended up as a 4.13 so what about you Cody? I pay that right now. He currently has uh, I think Mostly A's. He's a freaking Maybe like a few B's from TOK in English, but he's trying to access his report card. How was your grades, Cody? 4.46 for the semester. What about you the CGPA? 4.026. Yeah, this guy's a nerd. This guy's a nerd.
up? We're currently at the Kia Aura budget stay. This is a not not a fancy hotel. It's a bunk bed. There's two beds. And uh, we just got off the Shinkansen. I didn't record any evidence or footage there. Forgot to. But yeah, this is our room. You can see the outside from here. And me and Cody are gonna go to the park for a bit. It's currently 9 p.m. Uh, see you guys later. All right, the phone works. Me and Cody are going to a park. I don't know what park. Cody, what park is it? It's a park. I see the park. This later. We were sprinting from our hotel to well, what right now? But Cody's not on a track team, so he's really tired. But I am, so I'm not really tired. So we're in Hakata and we're going to Ahori Park. Are you calling? And Vincent, take this. We're in a rush, so we gotta hurry. Let's plug out the tickets inside. Currently, me and Cody are walking to Hori Park, but... But what? Huh? You're getting scared? Yeah, I know this dude's getting scared of the dark. It looks like we're walking into Luigi's Haunted Mansion, because it's super dark, and there's no one around. Dude, Cody, there's a ghost behind you. I know who you are and where you're going. I'll stop you before you reach I'm actually your destination. Getting footage of an actual ghost behind Cody. This is my home. Welcome to my home. That's Satan's lair right there. Help me. Whoa, who said that? I'm the ghost of a Hori Park, and you shall die. What in the world did I do? Please tell me. You invaded my property. Hey guys, we're at Maizudu Park. We're the only two up here, so... It looks pretty nice, but it's actually really freaky. The down part is that you gotta travel through traps booby traps and all that stuff, but it's a worth a visit. It's currently 9 to 10 I think, but we're gonna get to Hadi Park soon.
Cody, you ready? It's a full moon. Alright, cue Luigi's background music. Haunted Mansion. So we have a change of plans. We're skipping Ahori Park and just returning to our suite because you can't really see anything over here. description but you gotta make it haunted man can you tell us about the story of the okiku in meiji temple it's in Togo prefecture the story goes that there was a um there was a lady by the name of okiku and one of the samurai wanted her as his wife, but she kept refusing. So, oh, she was in charge of the family place. So, um... Alright, so to be honest, guys, I think Cody is probably the worst spooky storyteller ever, since he includes history inside his spooky stories. The first time someone has made it so boring that I was literally confident after he told his story. Here, we're on the inside of the Fukuoka castle. Those were all people with guns that put their guns to it, they'd shoot, and then they'd have to, like, they would reload the gun and they'd shoot again, and then, unless you think you'd shoot through that thing, you'd probably not kill you. They will probably kill you if you kill them if you're invading. The defenders had a huge advantage, that's why they had to resort to siege most of the time. So um, Cody's so talking about those black little things right there. He said their eyes were in them. They could see through it. Okay, so inside this black stuff right here is Fukuoka Castle. And Cody was talking about the defense lines in there, how you can't penetrate it because. There's a bunch of armed men on you when you cross the bridge. And if you swim across it, you'd still die. So he was convincing me about this castle strength. Alright guys, that's a wrap. Cheers to the end of day 3 and 4 in Hagi. We will move on to day 5 finally in Fukuoka.
please subscribe and like. And if you see closely to the bottom of the floor, there's a bunch of QR codes that you can scan. Literally on the subway. Well, see you guys later. Peace.